Good morning and um, welcome to morning prayer on uh, Saturday. It's the 2nd of May. It's, yes, it's May already. Um, <laughs> just quite a shock seeing the thought it was still the middle of February. But anyway, yes, it's May. Um, so let's pray together on this um, Saturday morning. I'm going to be using the um, morning prayer from the uh, Church of England website, uh, the contemporary version, as we've been using for the last few weeks. Um, so let us pray today. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. So, blessed are you, Lord, God of all salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We say together, blessed be God forever. So the Easter anthems. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man he death came, by man has all come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. We say the glory together. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. We'll just keep a, a few moments silence while we bring our thoughts to God. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. I'm going to read Psalm 111 this morning. Um, a, a, a praise of the Lord. So, Alleluia, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, in the company of the faithful and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great sought out by all who delight in them. His work is full of majesty and honour, and his righteousness endures forever. He appointed the memorial for his marvellous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He gave food to those who feared him. He is ever mindful of for his covenant. He showed his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of the hands are truth and justice. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever. They are done in truth and equity. He sent redemption to his people. He commanded his covenant forever, holy and awesome in his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have those who live by it. His praise endures forever. We say together, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion. Gracious God, you are full of compassion. May we who long for your kingdom to come 
rejoice to do your will and acknowledge your power alone to save through Jesus Christ our Lord. We say glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Now move down to the uh, scripture reading for today. So it's Luke chapter 2. And it's um, right of the first years of Jesus' ministry. Um, so let's read together. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It has been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do what, for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed. A sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, a daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher, she was of great age, having lived with her husband for seven years after her marriage, and then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favour of God was upon him. It's an amazing story of faith um, and patience. I think we can really take something from that, that sometimes it's not on our timing, but it's on the Lord's timing. Uh, just to be patient, but have faith. So let's um, say that the Song of Christ's Glory together, which is in the lectionary. Um, it's the, the uh, extra link. There's a refrain, it's called, At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. So let's say that after every verse. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling with equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of the servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, 
in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We'll say together again, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. We'll come to a time of prayer. Um, I'll say some short words and then we'll leave space for people to pray out loud or pray in their hearts and through their thoughts. So Father, we, we thank you for this uh, beautiful day today. The, um, the sun shining, you can hear the birds in the background. It's a really beautiful day. We, we, we pray that we recognise your creation and we, we praise you for that. Throughout what everything that's happening in the world and, and today, let's just lift up our worries and our thoughts for today. We pray for the world, we pray for all, all its needs, we pray for all the people here in the world who are anxious, or worried or suffering or just slightly uneasy. For some people it's not a, a, a very anxious time but there's an unease there. We just ask you to pass any anxieties on, give them to the Lord. We thank you for the people who are putting themselves at risk to help others in, in whatever way, Lord, or key workers of, of all description. We thank you for them. We pray that you'll keep them safe, Lord. Let's pray for the church, Lord. We pray that we can be church in our community, not just in our building. And the last few weeks have, have really shown us that we don't need the building to be church. We can be church through how we act, how we help people, how we support people. Help us to continue to, to support our communities. Both now and into the future, that we, we can support and show people your love, show people how to follow you. I will say the collect for today. Ever living God, whose servant Athanasius testified to the mystery of the word made flesh for our salvation, help us with all your saints to contend for the truth and to grow into the likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord our God. Alleluia, alleluia. We say thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So thank you for joining this morning. I hope uh, you find some help and comfort in those prayers. Um, and we have the evening prayer tonight and then our 10 o'clock service tomorrow morning on Facebook and on YouTube. So if you know people who are on you who are not on Facebook who want to watch, maybe maybe pass them on the YouTube link. I know that suits some people better. So take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you soon.